Hey everyone, Pastor Jim here. Thanks for joining me for this week's message. For youth and kids from Atkinson Congregational Church, we are the light on the hill. Where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome. If I can figure out how to make my camera go the right way. Very glad that you could join me for this week's message. And this week I want to talk to you about a guy named Jonah. Jonah in the Old Testament of our Bible was told by God to go to this city called Nineveh, a huge city, and to preach to the people there who were wicked and who God was getting ready to punish. Jonah doesn't want to go. And so instead of going towards Nineveh, this huge city, he goes in the opposite direction. And this part of the story, almost everyone knows, he goes on a boat, there's a big storm. He figures out the storm is his fault. He jumps overboard, swallowed by a big fish, spit out three days later on the dry land. And when he gets spit out on the dry land, there's God waiting for Jonah, who says to Jonah, So Jonah, can you hear me now? Are you going to go to Nineveh or not? Jonah says, Okay, God. Nineveh it is. I'll go to Nineveh. And so he goes to Nineveh. His heart's still not in it. He still doesn't really want to preach to the people there about getting better and doing better. And But he goes because, you know, he knows that God has asked him to go and he needs to go. And so he does. And he preaches to the people of Nineveh a sort of half-hearted sermon. You know, get better or you're all in big trouble. And then this amazing thing happens. The people of Nineveh repent. They change their ways. They do what Jonah told them to do. And Jonah can't believe it. He's waiting for God to rain down wrath and destruction on the people of Nineveh and nothing happens. So instead of being happy for the people of Nineveh, Jonah's mad. I mean, he's mad. He's mad at God. And he says to God, I knew you wouldn't do it. I knew you were some namby-pamby God who wouldn't follow through when he said he was going to do a hard thing. I knew that you'd show mercy and forgiveness to these people. And God said, Jonah, why are you mad about that? Jonah says, I don't know, but I'm mad enough to die about it. And God says, well, Jonah, you're upset because you preached and then what you wanted to happen happened. And I'm telling you that there's over 100,000 people that live there. And if they have changed their ways and I have forgiven them, why would that make you mad? And Jonah's still pondering that when the book ends. But there's our message for this week from God. God tells us, I can show mercy and forgiveness about huge things. I can forgive entire cities full of people who were doing wrong. So maybe, Jonah, and maybe you, Pastor Jim, and maybe you guys listening, maybe you can learn how to show mercy and forgiveness about little things. Because I can do it, God says, about big things. That's our Jonah message for this week. The Jonah story is not so much about the big fish and spinning Jonah out on the beach. The big story is about what happens after that when God shows Jonah that forgiveness is part of what God is, what God does for all of us. So as you go about your week, Instead of getting mad about when things don't turn out the way that you expect them to, maybe you can instead learn something from God and learn about showing mercy and forgiveness. Because, you know, in the end, the thing that happened that God chose not to do was a good thing. But Jonah still got mad about it. When things don't go our way, that's what can happen. We get mad even if what happens ends up being better than what we thought we wanted. Well, that's our message for this week, kids. I'm very glad you could join in. Let's end with our prayer. It's an answer back prayer, so I'll say the first part, and then you can repeat that back to me. And here we go. Dear God, thank you for lessons in the Bible. 
and especially the story of Jonah, who teaches us to forgive little things because you can forgive big things. Amen and amen. All right, very happy that you guys clicked in and joined us for this week's message. Stay tuned. In the next week or two at the most, we're going to be debuting an entirely new program for this fall that will include lessons for you to do at home and videos to watch and a whole series of uh, Bible stories and lessons that are going to take us through the fall and into early next year. So stay tuned for that. There'll be announcements on our Facebook page in E! News and also uh, in the Facebook group that is for families of Atkinson Congregational Church. So keep an eye out for that. It's coming. Uh, I'll still be doing my messages, but there'll be a much bigger uh, series of things that you can do over the course of the week while we still cannot quite yet meet in person. All right, very glad to see you guys. Enjoy your fall. It's a little cool out here this morning, but it's beautiful out. The sky is so blue, not a cloud in it. I hope you enjoy your day and have a blessed week and take care. Bye-bye.